couple of points. Um, one, um, you know, we can either look at the idea of changing people's main incentive uh, from uh, money to something else. That's a that's a that's one battle. Or we can look at how we can use uh, money or collaborate. How how we can realize that money is going to be a huge driver and just change the way people can get to that reward um, to kind of achieve the goals that we want them to achieve in terms of collaboration. When I when I talked earlier about um, you know bringing human resources to the table so that we can actually change how people. Um, do their jobs uh, and are rated and assessed on how they do their jobs so that, you know, we're going to change your job. You're, you're going to get your money and we're just going to change the behaviors you need to engage in to get that money. Um, I, I also think that money is a, um, is a motivator for people. And this is at the employee level in terms of in at one level, but I think at another level, especially, Place that relates to things like uh, retaining employees and talent management, that having a collaborative environment is much more important than money at, in those activities. Um, so, so I think that if I'm talking to a CEO trying to explain how collaboration can increase the bottom line, I'm not going to say, well, because you know, if we all trust each other, we'll collaborate better. What I'll say is if we establish an environment in which people can trust each other and collaborate more without having to raise salaries by a euro, we will increase our ability to attract and retain quality employees because they'll feel more part of the organization. They'll feel more involved. They'll feel more loyalty to the organization. So we haven't changed that money is the driver. Um, so, so, I also, uh, I also think one of the things that I, I used to work for a consulting firm um, in D.C., and we had an entire division that built war games, right, mm -hmm. games that the generals play at the war colleges to, to, you know, figure things out. And so what they did was they took their knowledge of how to build a war game, and they they changed it from a military organization to the consulting firm. And so instead of conducting a battle, the game was how do you win business? How do you staff that job? How do you, how do you, and how do you do those kinds of activities within the context of a larger organization? And it was really interesting because people who had worked in their own little divisions for so long were able to get this really visceral understanding of the organization as an entire organism that they weren't able to get before. And without paying anybody any additional money, I think you got a lot of, uh, well, people were aware of other parts of the organization. They were aware of places where collaboration might be important uh, that they weren't before. So I think um, providing, also providing people with that larger picture of the organization, which can be a change, right? People like to think we're gonna get them in this channel and keep them focused. But sometimes providing the, that bigger picture um, uh, allows them to find those areas for collaboration on their own. That's why I think some of the, the you know, tools, the, the Web 2.0 and the social media that we're seeing coming up now and the Enterprise 2.0 focus is so important because it, it starts to expose those opportunities for collaboration within the organization.